And the Jacksonville Jewish community continues to stay alert when it comes to their safety. Last weekend's hostage situation at a Texas synagogue has our local Jewish officials reminding folks that plans put in place for those reasons. McKenna Rodriguez joining us now outside. She's at the Jewish Community Alliance with what officials say they are doing to keep the community calm after major events like these. Whether it be gates, security cameras, or even visitor badges, we're told these are just some of the security measures put in place. Attacks like the one made on a synagogue in Texas are what Jewish communities all across the country try to prevent and prepare for with secure community network training. It really teaches you about um, awareness and what your opportunities for a higher rate of survival if you find yourself in that situation. Jewish Federation and Foundation of Northeast Florida CEO Miriam Spien Fies says those trainings consist of things like stop the bleed and run, hide, fight. To help everyday people who walk into our synagogues, our Jewish Community so um, Alliance, our schools, um, any Jewish organization, how to be aware of their environment and what to do if crisis arises. Miriam says although the idea of preparing for a crisis or even witnessing one in another state is scary. The Jewish community, we are resilient. I mean, we've, this has been our whole history from pogroms to anti-Semitism to the Holocaust. We don't want to put in fear um, and we also don't want to let I don't know how else to put it, haters or enemies win. Um, we have been here for thousands of years and we will be here for thousands of years because that's who we are, we're resilient. But we need to be educated and trained. Officials say secure community network training was done just as early as last summer with another training scheduled for next month. McKenna Rodriguez, First Coast News, on your side.